just try to jump on it. Let's see what happens. So, boy, want me to sing? <laughs> You're definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. Raise in the shade of the apple tree there. The first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Well, are you still gonna throw me off? That was beautiful, Henry. We're doing it. Right in the horse. Good job, Henry. No. Don't kick Henry off with that singing. Hatch, I thought you were supposed to cheer me on, not uh, set me up for failure. Let's see. Faulkner was American too, was he not? I am hesitant to gallop with this horse because it has been going so well. Let's eat some bread on the road, shall we? We had bread. We got that pretzel we stole. There. Yes. I'm trying to remember what other books I have on my shelf. I'm a bit uh, brain dead at the moment. All right, let's try Gal. Looking good. So Papa Talk this horse is for a wedding that Lady Stephanie is setting up. So we have to get this horse, some wine, and a crown, all while investigating the murder of a bandit. Going the right way? Yeah. Question is, the queen wants this horse, but we're not gonna walk it up to her room. Where are we supposed to put it? Okay, so it seems like got it. Where should I park it? Classical music is something that's very good as well. Always holds up. There we go. We did it. Good. Good, good, good. Oh. I see. Thanks again, Pod. Well, I need just a quick break. So give me just a couple minutes here. I appreciate your patience. Be right back.
There we go. Let's grab a jacket skin. A little chilly. Okay, so that's for our witch hunt. So we delivered our horse. And check that off the list. So now, let's, fa let's uh, fast travel back to Ujutz. Maybe then we can learn to read. Sleep, thank you. Uh, I made that image just today. <laughs> All right. Let's find our scribe, shall we? we'd have a better chance at seeing now, but it's still really dark in here. There he is. Look at him. He looks so fancy. My respects to you. It's dusty in here. Great. Let's learn to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. Whoa. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. How to be presumptuous. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Yeah, Area Grushin. We give them money. Then we may as well start. Oh, he did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't make a learning to read in mini game. Wake up, lad! It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. Yeah, we read a book. Table. Try to read it. Oh, well, maybe this will be a mini you game. Ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through. So being able to read was a very rare skill in the Middle Ages, and common blacksmith's son certainly wouldn't have been literate. Understand written text, you'll have to find someone who can teach you to read. Oh boy. I don't know how well you can see this. Uh, it is covered in spellings. It's like just close enough. Huh. Interesting. should let the scribe know what I've read. Oh, if you sit there longer, does it make more sense? Hmm. We didn't really read the book. I'm sure what's going to happen is uh, we say we've read the book, he's going to ask us what happened. So let's try that again. I mean, I can try to read it now. So it just says, uh, one day a countryman going to the nest of his goose found there an egg, all yellow and glittering. When he took it up, it was as heavy as lead. He was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him. 
but he took it to he took it home on second thoughts and soon found to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold every morning the same thing occurred soon he became rich by selling his eggs as he grew rich he grew greedy and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give he killed it and opened it only to find nothing okay the text uh, getting better over time I don't think it changed but we got the gist of the story ah our scribe he's gone oh there he is I've read the book wonderful so tell me what have you learned? That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. At least someone has faith in Henry. Whoa. Not expecting to sit that way. Oh no. that we had to do. I read the page. So tell me, this Poulet, what's written there? Uh, that. I think it's that. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus uh, ut non uh, liquor parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent! Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations! You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Yay. Good job, Henry. Jesus Christ be praised. Good luck to you. Okay. So what time is it, game? Hmm. I can still ask people about Lubosh. I just feel like I've kind of gained all the information that I need to know. I am very hungry, though. Greetings. What do you need? I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask all you want, lad. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? Those that live by the sword die by the sword. I'm not surprised the end he came to. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently?
everything about him was suspicious. I always gave him a wide berth. Do you know what Lubos was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? How would I know? Do you know who Lubos used to spend time with? Kin or friends? I don't know, since I don't go to alehouses. Who was this Lubos who was murdered? Don't need to do that. Those that live by the... All right. That's all. Thank you. Take care. Let's find a bite to eat for hunting. It's Father Goodwin. My goodness. Had no idea he was one for combat. Good day to you. Probably a pot at the end. Thank you. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by. And it helps keep me in good form. Have you thought of a way to help me solve that murder? Let's leave it for the evening. Come to the tavern after sunset and we'll talk it over. Okay. God be with you. So let's go towards the end. Should be right here. day to you. What do you need? Um, you live here? Of course. I mean here, in the presbytery. Yeah, right here. In the presbytery, with the parish priest. Yes. Oh, his concubine, that's right. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Uh, yes, of course I like you. So why are you surprised Godwin likes me too? I'm not. I mean, I see... Uh, okay. Let's forget that discussion ever happened. I don't know if you heard that grocer, but he was talking about his, how his onions would make you cry at them. That is what I would expect. Not seeing a pot here by the end. Keep trying, though. Being here by the church? Oh, inside. Jeez. All right, let's try that again. Until evening. Seems like a long time to sit, but here we are. Thank you. 
keep wanting to hit X for some reason. Like, dismounting from the horse. Okay, so this is where we were supposed to meet, was it not? There it is. With the lady. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. All right, all right. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. As you wish. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. He had no warning. He just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl, my... even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Taunberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. You think I'm too young for the job, Father? I do, to tell the truth. Well, I can only apologize for my lack of gray hair and gout. Right. Now the most important thing. What actually happened in Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits. But they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosh, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Yeah, we've noticed both of those things. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say, the Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. I notice there's a woman living with you at the presbytery. What of it? Have you never met a cleric who lives with a woman before? Mother Church won't let me take her to wife. Too afraid it might lose its property to any heirs she bore me. But she cooks and cleans. And, well, as a man I have my needs. I'm not sure the parish priest at St. James would agree with you. I, I heard he was a bit odd. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions, because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? All right, let's hear it. If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where else do you get the ideas for your sermons? 
Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. Uh, a journeyman who nope, heard him told the, uh, me what Hus was preaching, for this and I like the sound priest of it. Does not seem I'm great. thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church, the lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison, and nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth, and they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Gosh. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. Like this priest just wanted company to get that drunk, but he didn't talk about the plan. Someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Huth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. This guy's got some I'm grudges here. I'm with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sassau Monastery. Oh, boy. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman, and then criticizes the Pope for, be, for, for debauchery. No, I don't. Okay. What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Yeah. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up it's and the church much. will be shaken to its very foundation. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. You want to call yeah, it that? It's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. No. Well, enjoy it, Father. I have to go now. I'm not much in the mood for a drink. <sighs> I thought you'd be more game. And you won't help me out with that secret? No, I won't. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. You're Priest welcome. Juice. Wow. Ah, this priest sucks. Father, didn't I see you outside practicing swordplay? I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. Heard you talk with about a stick. This. I practiced with a stick. And that terrible reminder of my way youth he says that with a by. stick. Practice and it helps keep me in good form. My pleasure. Okay. Well. God be with you. This is so frustrating. Cheers. Yeah, sure. 
so he's really not going to help us. Man, I guess I really screwed that up. Well, that's frustrating. God. Sorry. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. So we'll fast travel back to Moiha. All that time with Austin got nothing. Felt like he was uh leading us on anyway. He was like, oh, come see me at the tavern, and then oh, we'll do something in the morning. Felt like a waste of time. Here, right? Let's get our torch. Uh, the floating times in this game are fine. Fast travel just goes a little bit slowly sometimes, I think, because. I don't know if it's emphasizing like the distance travel, but also there are chances that things can happen to you on the road and it'll have a prompt and ask you what you want to do. Um, that was a point where the game had crashed earlier. So that scares me a little bit. Whoops. If it's the old hag from next door, just go ahead and take a bite out of her. What was that? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. What? What is she saying? That was very strange. Well, I guess... Sir Radzig is no longer here? I may just have to go to... Rate, then. No, I don't know what on earth she was talking about. Is she talking to us? Just go take a bite of that hag. Back to good old Rate. Ratai. I always misspeak. Yeah, if there's a place that we can sleep for the night here. Oh yeah, we got the mill. What's going on? Go. Yeah. So slowly through town. I 
have gone through the wrong door. I think I did. Ah! Oops. Sorry, Henry. I, think I broke his foot. Or both feet. Good old sleepy thing. More bread rolls while we're here. There we are. Eh, let's take the last one too. I'm sure they won't mind. Let's see if um Teresa's hey, up for a walk now. Is she at this table back here? Nope. Where did she go? So we'll have to catch her next time. Unless she's still sleeping. Is that possible? to do. Alright, so let's talk to Sir Hanish. Exactly where to find. Hey. Must be this way, right?
Nope, nope. This is where he would be. Hmm. Maybe he's out on one of his morning jogs again. See if we can find him around town. Where could he be? He got my hopes up. Ah, crap. with Captain Bernard. Oh. Alright, let's go back to the castle one more time. See if it's back by now. Tell me you're here. Dang it. Ah, oh, dear. Well, I think that'll about do it for Henry's Adventures for today. But thank you so much for joining me for the first ever live stream. Prince, it was a lot of fun. Um, I appreciate all of helpful hints and tricks and general support in the chat. I'm really looking forward to next time. I'll have to put it on the schedule soon. Um, tomorrow I am going to be doing a gun club build of an Evangelion model in the afternoon, so I'm looking forward to that when it comes there. Um, let me see if there is anyone streaming right now that I can send you over to. No doesn't look like anybody's streaming right now but i really appreciate it i hope you all had a wonderful start to here and i hope you have a great day take care